Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop a plugin for Etherpad. So this is my Etherpad root directory. So what I will do, I will create a directory here. I will call it EP demo. Now next thing, what we will do, we will initiate a npm package in this directory. So what we have to do, open your terminal and just go to this directory. So and then so if you can see right now there is nothing in this directory now we will initiate a package npm in it so the package name so what plugin we are going to write what will be the name of that plugins so i'm going to keep it same ep demo version description let's say this is a demo plugin entry point index.js okay so as you can see a file has been created and if you open that file so this is the file so this file is actually providing information about our package so the name of our package is ep demo now we have to create two more files so this file will be ep.json and so here we are going to specify which function will be called on which hook so in etherpad actually offers a number of hooks let me show you etherpad hooks so these are the hooks so uh, we specify on which hook which function is associated so in this tutorial I'm going to show you a server side hook example so let me scroll to server hook so these are the server side hook and uh, I'm taking this very simple express configure so I will write my ep.json file and what are the structure of this file is so here you specify parts so in parts so what will be the name so I am keeping the same though you can change here name and then you have to specify hooks so the hook I am using is express configure now we have to specify a function name which will be executed whenever this hook will be called So we will create a file index.js and in that file we will create a function with same name. So we will save this file in our ep demo directory with name ep.json. Okay now we have to create this index.js file. So we have to write export express configure so this is the name of function so here we have specified that in this file index.js this function will be called whenever this hook will be called so you can make 
this name different so the thing is whatever name you specify here the same name function you have to uh, specify here so function now this function has two argument hook and context and here you can find out what are the information available in the context so app the main application object so whenever this function will be called we will some simply print some message and we will save this file index.js in ep demo okay so we are done with our first package now we will install this package so just move to your etherpad directory so i am in my etherpad directory and then write command npm install ep demo okay now let's start our etherpad instance so our etherpad instance is running So now I will try to access the etherpad instance. So as soon as I will hit this URL, it will create the server. So, so let me create a pad actually. So when we will create a pad at that time, that hook will be called. So this is our message. My function is called. So sorry for the mistake. This uh, this function will be called when your etherpad server instance will be created. So it's not when your pad instance is created. Sorry for that. So this was a simple plugin. So this plugin actually uh, make this function called whenever this hook is called by the etherpad so in the similar way you can use the other server hooks and you can write your plugin thank you very much for watching